Hi there, welcome back to Oswald's Kitchen and today we're creating something that is well in our culture it's like legendary and that is Coquito that's what it is there yeah, that's the that's the spelling C-O-Q-U-I-T-O -O. you can tell the first part is Coco, Coquito it is a coconut based drink and it is what we call it's our version of eggnog however a little bit more potent and much more delicious our coquito recipe can be found in my cookbook, my first cookbook, Puerto Rican Cuisine in America, Bodega Recipes, page 255. Now, coquito, the main ingredient is either coconut milk, leche de coco, or coconut cream, cream, crema de coco. Now, let me say this. In the old days, before we had the produce, the mass produce uh, uh, coconut milk or cream of coconut, coquito was an involved complex procedure. The reason we put the coconut pieces in the oven is to make it easier to remove the, uh, the coconut skin or the coconut meat from the shells. So once it's cool, you take the coconut shells out of the oven, you take a paring knife or a spoon and you scrape out the coconut meat or the coconut skin and you discard the shell. Then you grate the coconut meat using a whole hand grater, the old-fashioned way. That's the way it's done. Once the coconut meat has been grated, you take the coconut shreds, you place it in a pan with warm water, and you let it sit for five minutes. Then you take the coconut shreds, you take the wet coconut shreds, you place them in a piece of cheesecloth or a handkerchief, and then you take the handkerchief with your hands and you press it so that the coconut milk will drain into a saucepan. That was the way that the coconut milk was obtained in the old days. However, thank goodness we live in a time where we can get the coconut milk or coconut, coconut cream already made. Now, let me give you, after that, let me give you an idea of the other ingredients that are needed uh, in making coquito. You have evaporated milk, condensed milk, a can of condensed milk, ground cinnamon, and egg yolks, three or four egg yolks lightly beaten. Some people use more. Some people go and use five egg yolks. It's up to you. If you want a richer flavor of coquito, you put more eggs in it. Let me add, in terms of the ingredients, it's usually one can each. One can of coconut milk, one can of coconut cream, one can of evaporated milk, and one can of condensed milk. Now, some people like to use just coconut cream two cans. Some people like to use two cans of coconut uh, milk. I use a combination of both. One can of coconut milk, one can of coconut cream. In terms of the cinnamon, usually half a teaspoon to one teaspoonful, depending upon how much cinnamon you want to add into the, into the mix. Now, we come to one of the main ingredients in coquito, rum. Now, as you see, this is 151 proof rum. My mother of late memory, bless her soul, she said that the only genuine coquito contained 151 proof rum, nothing less. And dark rum, what we call añejo, that means rum that's been aged from 8 to 12 years. Let me state that some people claim that they prefer using white rum. Some people use rum of a lesser, of a lesser proof, 80 proof. Nah, -uh. in the Rivera family, I'm sorry, it's 151 proof rum and it's dark rum. That is written, that is the way it is written, that is the way it shall be. Now I'm going to put all the ingredients in the bowl and let's get to work. First we add the coconut milk. Then we add the coconut cream. Then we add the evaporated milk. Then we add the sweetened condensed milk. As you can see, it's nice and thick. That's the way you want it. 
try to get as much as you can in there because that is going to be the, the sweetening agent. And then we add the beaten eggs. As I said before, I'm using three egg yolks. Some people use four, some people use as many as five. Then we add half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now comes the rum. I am going to use two and a half cups. Some people use more, some people use less, depending upon how strong flavor you want the uh, coquito to be. One cup. Two cups. And let's say maybe two and a half. is good stuff. Some people like to use a whisk, some people like to use a spoon, some people like to use a mixer. Anything that works the important thing is to combine all the ingredients together so you have a good mix. The length, the time of whipping, you can whip it actually doesn't matter. You can whip it for two to three minutes tops. The final step is you take the uh, coquito, you place it in the blender, and then you blend it from 10-20 uh, seconds tops. You place the coquito in the blender. Let me say that depending upon the amount of coquito you have, you should do it in batches. And also when you blend, remember, always place your, top, your hand on top of the blender. You don't want to have a tsunami. Here we go. Finally, you will place the coquito inside a bottle. It could be, it has to be a sterilized bottle, it could be a soda bottle, it could be a, uh, a wine bottle, or it could be a liter bottle. I shall demonstrate. Simple. Let's go in and see it. Use a funnel. I remember one time, first time we, we used to do it by hand, and half of the coquito would end on the floor, and it's not good licking the coquito off the floor, no matter how good it is. So use a funnel, make sure you have a good sterilized bottle, and there it is. Finally, you cap the bottle, and you place it in the fridge for two, from one to two hours until it's well chilled. When you serve it, you shake the bottle, and you serve the coquito, and there, that's all there is to it. Here we are, the final segment, which is the taste test. And for this, I have two great people joining me. First is my dear wife, Holly. Hi. And a close friend of ours, Breck Vietz. Vietz, okay? <laughs> Who's uh, a native Vermonter and who we love dearly. Right. And now... That's true. We're going to see how this came out. A little bit here. Oh, it's gorgeous. A little bit there. It is gorgeous. And a little bit here. Cheers to all. Oh, how is that? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Rick? Oswald, <laughs> you should go into business. <laughs> you could call it Oswald's Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> it's great. Thank you to all of us, to all of you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>